All-Star team. Hi, Hi Ms. Griffin. Hello. I'm so excited for our 2017-2018 school year. Welcome back. We missed you so much. All right. Can I have one reader for AIM 1 and another reader for AIM 2? Stacy and I. <laughs> Camp Star uh, staff will be able to build relationships with one another by learning about our collective stories. Camp Star staff will be able to identify our star vision and related priorities. Awesome. All right. So for our agenda today, Camilla, can you read our agenda? Welcome back. Quick whip around. Sit and stand. Success and plateaus. C plus A. Our priorities. Our stories. Dear rivers. The newest Kip Stars. The newest Kip Stars. I am so excited to welcome so many talented and dedicated members to our team. We really are truly lucky. But before we talk about um, our new staff, we are going to introduce ourselves. Chris and E. Bacon. <laughs> okay. So if we can please whip around the room really quickly, starting with I, and tell us your name, what grade level you're on, and what you are doing at Kipstar. Um, I'm I, I'm on the sixth grade team, I'm the sixth grade team leader, teaching sixth grade math, and I have a fellow who's here. Hi, I'm Stacy. I am the Dean of Teaching and Learning for Math and Some Science. <laughs> Get excited. Hi, I'm Camilla Arzera Dean, I'm Director of Social Work of the school. <laughs> All grades. <laughs> Hi, I'm Lauren Keough. I'm the Dean of Teaching and Learning for 6th, um, 7th, 8th grade ELA and Reading and for History. Hi, I'm Alaria Pizzo. I'm the Director of Student Support Services and the Dean for 5th grade. Hi, I'm Mario <laughs> Pierce. I am the Dean for 6th grade. Yes! What a strong team we've got. Woo! Awesome. Okay, now we're going to do a quick activity. We are going to sit and stand aligned to how many years we've been at STAR. So if you've only been here for the um, duration of years that I mentioned, so let's say I'm like three years at STAR and you've only been here for two, you'd be sitting. Let's say you've been at STAR for 10 years and I say 10 years at STAR and you would stand. Yes? Ready? Okay. Who's been here for zero years? One year. Two years. Three years. <laughs> Four years. achievement in math and in reading. In math, for, er, reading, 44% of us, because I can read, 44% <laughs> of our eighth graders exited above the 50th percentile, which means that we have 44% of our eighth graders ready to be on the path to college achievement, which is amazing. For math, we have 54% of our students who 
are achieving above the 50th percentile and ready to be on the path to college. I want everyone to take a look at this slide here. You're gonna turn and talk with the person next to you. Knees to knees. We're gonna go window to door. If you are the window partner, you're gonna speak first. What do you think this slide means? If you're the door, per door partner, you're gonna go second and say what you think the slide means and try to come to some understanding. This relates to our map data and our in the slides that I just showed you. Knees to knees, window to door, two minutes. And back here in three, in two, and in one. Fastest two minutes of your entire life. Yeah. Please share what you think this slide means, Lauren. I think the three schools on the screen, all those three statistics held true for them that 50% um, were in the top quartile, math, math, or more, um, and 40% or more on the top quartile for reading, and then we had less than 10% student attrition. Exactly. There are only three schools, there are three top schools in who had this true for them. Um, Kip Infinity, our great cousins down the street. Kip Summit, fun fact, the Summit principal, Rick Zappa, is actually going to train us in restorative justice for the next two days. How cool is that? And then Kip Star. Guys, we are amazing. We are truly amazing. So when we think about starting this school year, we're not starting from scratch. We're starting from a really strong foundation.